Welcome back everybody, Gator the Legend here with you as always, and I got a secret to tell you, I'm a little fucking pissed off. So right about now you guys are probably asking yourself that day old question, why is the Gator so mad today? What, what's pissing him off? What's really pushing him over the edge? What's really bothering me is the complete and utter annihilation of the word drama, how we've completely taken it down, drug it through the dirt, and, and it's just completely unrecognizable of what it once was and what it once stood for. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, who's to blame for this? Is, is it Jake Paul? Is it, is it his brother Logan Paul? Maybe it's Rice Gum. We don't know, Gator. Please, please tell us who's to blame for destroying drama. Well, you've probably already guessed it. It's fucking Keemstar. It's Keemstar and what he's allowed to happen on Drama Alert. And everything that he's been encouraging lately has completely destroyed drama. See, every now and again, Keemstar gets it right. Every now and again, he fucking makes a hell of a video about some fucking juicy, juicy drama. And we're all very excited. We love it. It's just fucking awesome. Some examples of this from recent history would be PewDiePie versus the Wall Street Journal. He informed us about all this. He, you know, he condensed a lot of bullshit all into, you know, some nice little videos so we could keep up to date with both sides and what the hell is happening. Also, when Jake Paul originally, you know, started destroying fucking YouTube and making all this fucking shit happen and being in the news and all this fucking shit and all that stuff, he informed us of this. And it was great. It was awesome. Thank you for that. I, seriously, Keemstar, thank you. And then there were great stories like uh, the Christian Burns guy and all the bullshit he did with the security guard and all that stuff. That, that was some great drama. Or with the, uh, the angry grandpa and his two kids and the one kid getting drunk and doing drugs and shit and all that fucking chaos in prison and stuff. More juicy fucking drama. These are all just fantastic examples of where you fucking killed it, Keemstar. Where you really fucking went out there and showed us what drama was about and how great dra drama alert can actually fucking be. But unfortunately, at some point in the road, you decided that the views and the amount of videos that you throw out is way more important than the quality of the drama you're actually giving us. Now we see these videos that you're making about Jake Paul and Rice Gum and their made up feud that's going on. I mean, uh, if I remember correctly, you only maybe barely touched on the Jake Paul, Logan Paul, where they were doing their fake drama together. And you know, you kind of just let that be. I could be wrong. I, I miss a few drama alerts here and there. But if that is indeed what you did, then you did the right thing by not showing it too much attention, by kind of showing that, you know, that doesn't really matter. But in this case, you just feed the beast. It almost makes me wonder if you orchestrated this whole entire fucking thing. And for me, and I believe this was actually even before the fucking Jake Paul rice gum recent fucking bullshit, uh, you made a video about how Jake Paul has herpes. I mean, what the fuck, dude? That's not drama. See, see what you've done now is you've moved away from drama alert. You need to change it to gossip alert because now it's just gossip. Oh, does Jake Paul have a sexually transmitted disease? Oh, is Rice Gum and Jake Paul at it? Do they hate each other? What's going on? This isn't drama anymore. It's gossip. You're, you're disguising gossip as drama and everyone's buying it. You have millions of views on your videos. You have a responsibility to all your fans and to all the people out there to, to represent drama uh, correctly and not disguise gossip to be drama just so you can pump out extra videos and get them extra juicy views. Drama used to mean something on YouTube and it doesn't anymore. You've destroyed it, Keemstar. You've single-handedly destroyed the thing that you're supposed to stand for. Now, if you want to create like a second channel uh, called Gossip Alert, or even just make some random videos here and there to fill in the gaps called uh, This Week with Gossip or Gossip Alert again, whatever the fuck you want to call it, that, you know, that's fine. But don't throw the word drama on there. You're destroying what drama stood for. Now you have these YouTubers going out of their way to create fake drama. And one of my sincerest fans that, that, I, that I love and has been supporting me for a very long time actually was typing to me and writing to me. And he's younger, probably a little bit impressionable, and he's seeing what's working out there, and he's seeing you encourage this shit. And he texts me and he basically wanted to do the same thing with me. Hey, let's create some fake drama with each other. That way we can blow up. You see what the fuck you're doing? Dude, this is a problem, man. And you have the power. You're the one who can fix it. I'm a nobody, I'm nothing. I'm just hoping that by chance you watch this video and you listen. You just listen for a second. 
you can do great things with your channel. You have done some great things with your channel. You, you really have. For the most part, you've stayed unbiased. Until lately. I mean, uh, over the past couple of months, we've seen a ton of fucking bias shit from you. But there's been times where you didn't show your bias. And you showed equal parts of both sides of the argument. And you, you exposed people for their shitty behavior and the bullshit that they've done. But now you're just a joke. You're just a fucking gimmick. That's all you are right now. You make videos about whether or not someone has a sexually transmitted disease and about some fake feud that a couple huge YouTubers are only making because they saw how awesome the views were when iDubs completely fucking destroyed rice gum. That all they're doing is duplicating that. They're just copycatting it and doing it again so they can once again get those the, the big old view boost, the big old sub boost that comes afterwards because now that many more people know who the fuck they are. And what's sad is you're going to do irreversible damage if you don't stop and do something about this soon. And eventually, your channel's gonna die and it's gonna disappear. Because the people that watch your channel are gonna get older. And they're gonna start wising up, they're gonna start realizing how shitty your fucking channel is and how it's just a bunch of gossip now and how the drama has completely d disappeared from your fucking videos. Now this video wasn't intended to be just another fucking roast on Keemstar. He's not the only guilty party out there. Uh, you guys see it with Scarce, you see it with Kavos. Kavos is almost nothing but fucking gossip at this point. The guy's a fucking joke, let's be honest. And then just the, uh, you know, the big YouTubers himself. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, Ricegum, with their fake feuds back and forth just to get views. They're taking advantage of you guys. I mean, don't, don't give in to these fucking people. You're better than this. We as a community are better than this. You as a people are better than this. Recognize what they are doing. They're taking advantage of you by making you think they're fighting just to get all your comments and your likes and dislikes and all that shit. They don't care if you hate them. They don't care if you love them. They just care that you watch them. Don't you understand this? At the end of the day, let's get the drama back to where it is. Let's talk about when someone, a uh, YouTuber, walks up on his brother's fucking yard and he's fucking drunk and high as fuck and he like hits his fucking wife in the mouth and all that kind of bullshit. That's some fucking, that's drama. That's YouTube drama right there. That's a drama fucking alert ready to fucking happen. Let's talk about some piece of shit kid that was starting to become somebody and how he threw it all away because he decided to sit there and disgrace a security guard just for doing his fucking job. Let's talk about how PewDiePie pushes the boundaries and how one time he pushed it so far that the Wall Street Journal actually came out and attacked a YouTuber and how this war came from both sides and everyone's attacking each other, whether or not it was right or not right, something that made us think, something that made us feel, something that made us, you know, want more of this drama alert to see what else is going on in the world. And let's get away from the fake drama. Let's get away from the gossip. If you want to do fake drama, you want to do gossip, at least advertise it as such. I have nothing wrong with you guys doing this shit. The problem is you're advertising it to be reality. People believe you. They believe that Jake Paul and Ricegum hate each other and that they're fighting. They don't realize that this Team 10 and this other fucking house, it's all just a gimmick. It's all just a gimmick and you're buying into it hook, line, and sinker. They're making you look stupid. All right, guys, that's enough out of me. I'm done ranting for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you know, at the time of me making this video, I'm very fucking close to 5,000 subs. I think I'm just like, like three or four subs away. I'm super fucking excited. I can't wait for that. You guys are amazing. Keep subbing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep fucking disliking, keep throwing some hate comments. I don't give a fuck. I just want to hear from you guys. And as always, I've been the Gator, and you've been great. Peace! I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? Am I a meme yet? Am I a meme yet?